Hey guys, uh, today I want to show you some modifications that I've done to my 20 ton shop press. It's a Harbor Freight shop press. First thing is the table razor. This is basically a bolt wrench, a uh, bolt winch that I got from Harbor Freight. And it raises and lowers the table. Makes life a lot easier. Um, and what I did was I uh, cut the cable in half. So I got one cable going dropping down this way and the other cable dropping down this way and it attaches to the little angle irons that hold these channels together. And it's, there's room in there for the cable to slide down. I put some uh, grooved bearings. These bearings are actually from a, uh, actually I only put one on this side. It's actually a bearing for a uh, a six foot, you know, a slider in your home. You know, they sell them at Home Depot and Lowe's, you know, in the parts section where they sell door parts. Um, I just drilled a hole there in the corner, so that runs that one there. And, and what I did is I, I cut the cable in half and I threaded it through and where they're about the same length and I put it through where the cable attaches normally. And that's how that works. Second thing I did is I cleaned up these freaking press plates. They were so bad that they were rocking all over the place. Now this this press has other issues. This is wobbly. I'm going to do something with this. This is a little wobbly. I'm going to do something with this. But he, this isn't too bad because it sits on the pins. But I'm not too crazy about this over here. So I'm going to do something with that. The other thing I did, I put the... Uh, air operated jack on. And I also put this big T handle on this pressure release. So you don't need tools to do it. You don't have to try to stick the pipe in there. You just raise it and lower it. This is a 20 ton air over hydraulic bottle jack also available at Harbor Freight. I think with a coupon I pay $89 for that. Now this is an older model, the 20 ton shop press. The newer one is actually nicer. Um, it has channel irons. This one here is kind of, this is like form steel. It's okay. I mean, it does the job for me. You know, when you're on a budget, you make do with what you got. Here's another thing. This. is a brake, a bending brake. Swag off-road sells a kit for this. I actually made this one myself. And uh, it's very simple. An angle iron here, a heavy angle iron, quarter inch wall or 3 16 wall with some uprights there. And then uh, this is why, because this thing is heavy, this is why I put this on here to raise and lower that table because you put all this whole assembly together and it's a, it's a juggling act trying to get this to where you need it. And this is a wedge. I just, uh, just a heavy piece of steel. I think it's inch and a half by three or something like that, inch and a quarter by three. And I I put this and milled this down on the mill. Put a little locator here. Got some, these are just pipes spaced out. These are just some rods that I drilled. I drilled a hole through, you know, the same size as the rod and plug welded them on the bottom side. There's springs there. Um, pretty simple to make. So this fits right in between there. I'm going to get a piece of metal and show you how this works. And this, this will bend some pretty heavy stuff. Um, the swag off road is only a half inch wide plate that they put on edge. Um, so I decided to take that design and just beef it up a little bit. This here is a piece of quarter inch plate. I don't know if you can see that. 
240, 250. It's four inches wide. Check this out. Look at that. Quarter inch plate, four inches wide. This here is, is ground to a 90. I mean, well, it's the ch channel iron, so this is 90. This, the wedge, is, is steeper than a 90, so that I can get a 90 degree bend. And let me get a square for you, because if you do this at a 90, it interferes, because there's always a little bit of spring back on, on, the, uh, on the metal that you're bending. Let me get a square and I'll show you not quite 90. I can probably get a little better uh, and I'm gonna give that a shot. If you can see that it's not quite a 90. Let's see if I can get it to be a 90. The other thing I did is I mounted the um, the actuator for the air over hydraulic jack on the side here. <laughs> at that time. Yes sir. There it is. See that? Perfect 90. That's quarter inch steel. Perfect 90. Now it won't do quarter inch steel over the entire width, but it'll do four inches. This is a jumbo tape measure for blind people. 19 inches. 19 inches is what it'll do. Let me get a uh, let me get something a little bit wider, and I'll show you how that works. All right, here we got a piece of sheet metal, pretty heavy sheet metal. Let's see what this is. 62 thousandths. I'm not sure what that is in gauge. probably went beyond a 90. I just wanted to show you that it could go more than a 90 degree on uh, with this wedge over here. See that? But anyway, those are the mods for the um, for the Harbor Freight press that I've done. Um, it's just better to use now. Um, straightening out these press plates. These are cast iron. I, I flatten these out on the mill and now they don't rock all over the place. Um, this air over hydraulic bottle jack was a huge plus. This thing is a godsend. I mean it just it's just so easy to bring the table up and down now. It's uh you know, because it's a balancing act when you, if you don't have that, especially if you got stuff all laid out on here and you don't want to take it all off just to lower the table. Um, this works out great because it raises it low, lowers it fairly level. Alright guys, if you got any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.